Hey guys, so today is more of a how-to video for those who have moth pupae and are not sure how to tell when they are ready to emerge or eclose. I get a lot of questions about this, so let's dive in. These pupae here are Manduca rustica, all wrapped up in separate little beds of paper towel. Now, typically pupae don't move all that much unless they are disturbed, and even then, some species just tend to be more motionless than others. So it's easy to wonder if they're still alive. One trick you can use is to very gently press with your fingernail in the creases between the segments on the abdomen, and I mean very gently. They seem to really not like this, and usually even the most stoic pupae will move a little bit when you do this. However, even if they do not move, I usually go with the wait and see approach. I would rather wait than mistakenly toss a pupae that is alive by accident, and to be honest, eventually you will know it's dead if it really is. Now here are two pupae. The one on the left is ready to emerge and the one on the right is not. You might be able to see right away that the one on the left is darker and pupae do darken as they get closer to eclosing. But also, I can tell when I hold this pupae that the shell has become loose. It is no longer tight and hard and you can see a wrinkle where the wing case would be right here. So by gently feeling the pupae, you will be able to tell when they are ready, but this only happens a day or two in advance of emerging. So if you're not checking often, you may miss it and instead find your moth already out. And you can see, he just gave me a little wiggle. This also would apply to moth pupae inside cocoons. If you were to remove the pupae from the cocoon, it would be similar to this and will also darken and get looser in the shell as it's ready to emerge. Now in contrast, this pupae is not yet ready. It's lighter in color and you can see how tight the shell still is with no wrinkling. So I hope this is helpful for some of you out there who are patiently waiting for moths to emerge, so at least you have an idea what to look out for. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section and I will try to answer them all.